CSK were just too good for Gujarat Titans in the end. Gujarat Titans just couldn't chase the runs down. But where I'm having a problem with a few IPL teams at the moment is not having slips in place that are genuine slips fielders. Coley was dropped the other day. And Gokwald was dropped yesterday. It is crucial that you have slips fielders in there that do the job on a regular basis. You've got fast bowlers, opening bowlers that are swinging a new ball. You've got to get wickets in the first couple of overs. If you get wickets in the first couple of overs, your percentage of winning goes up dramatically. So why waste that resource? You're not meant to have all your best fielders in run-saving positions in those early overs because if you get the timing, you're going to get a four anyway. It's about getting your catches in the right place and your best catches in the right place. So coaches out there, captains out there, make sure you get your best slips fielders in the right position. That's just an absolute no-no. The other thing that I liked about CSK yesterday, sorry, the first thing that I liked about CSK yesterday was their attack on Rashid Khan. He's the front line man in this bowling attack. He's the go-to man. He's the wicket taker. You saw Mumbai Indians the other night just try and protect David against Rashid Khan. You can't afford to do that. When you get on top of him, all of a sudden it makes the other bowlers drop their head and makes them start to panic as well. Because their main bowler is not keeping it tight. So it's adding extra pressure on the rest of the bowling. I'm really enjoying Ravindra up the top of the order. He is exploding onto the IPL scene. And just loving the way that he's scoring on both sides of the wicket. He's calm, collect, and he is a very good, uh, a very good opening partner for Garkawald out the other end. Garkawald doesn't have to be as aggressive. And every now and then, Garkawald's going to be the one who takes the ascendancy and Ravindra has to uh, set back, sit back. But last night, I really enjoyed that particular partnership. Ravindra taking it on, Garkawald making sure that he continues that momentum or allows him to continue that momentum. And when he's gone, Ravindra's out, then Garkawald takes over that aggressiveness. So very good combination there. Um, I'm looking at the batting of CSK. I'm starting to think they've got the best batting lineup going around. They've got so much depth. They've got so much power. And Ajinka Rahani, just his aggressiveness is unbelievable. He has changed his game. He's got a new lease of life. He's enjoying it. Dubai, really loving the improvement of this young man. Pace was his weakness. Facing the short ball was his weakness. There was a rule change of two pounces per over. And I thought Dubay was going to be found wanting. He isn't. He's played a couple of nice pull shots against genuine quick bowlers. That really impresses me. And that just shows me that he's worked on the game and it's going to be better for CSK moving forward. And uh, Rivsey. Out the end there, six off the first ball. Get him up the order. Get him up the order. I think he's going to be very dominant against spin. And no respect for Rashid Khan yet, um, last night. That just shows that he's full of confidence and he's the bee's knees uh, to slot into this CSK batting order. So for me, Gujarat Titans, I'm not writing them off yet. But they've got to get certain players in fielding positions early on where the ball's swinging. And they've got to have better game plans to be able to utilise the pace of Johnson. They can't leave him too late. They've got to have the right matchups to him. Otherwise, he's not going to be effective. Last night, I thought he could have been used a lot earlier against the likes of Geichel Ward and Mavrindra with the new ball. And with that new ball, he could get a little bit of extra pace as well. So maybe uh, have Umish Yardov bowl a little bit later and give Johnson an opportunity up front. You've paid big money for him. You've got to try and work out as quickly as possible where the best use for him is. And I think that's with the new ball and in the middle overs.
Not so much out the depth. I think he can leak runs there. But I'm not riding Gujarat Titans off yet. I still think uh, they've got home ground advantage up there in Gujarat. But when they travel, that's when they're going to have their problems because uh, I don't think they've got a deep enough squad to be able to chop and change to suit various conditions. Well done to Chennai Super Kings. They're going to be unbeatable.